Have you ever seen a six gram cart before? Listen, one gram was the industry standard. One gram, 1,000 milligrams of whatever product is in there. Then I saw brands going to two grams, 2,000 milligrams of product in there. Every once in a while, I'll see a brand that decides to do three grams, but I've literally never seen a six gram cart before. I don't even think that I could ever reasonably finish one of these. You can get, if you take two second hits, which I know you're not, I know you're trying to do blinkers, you can get 300 hits out of a single gram. That would be like, three times six, 1800 possible hits out of one of these. This is from IndiCloud. This is their beast mode line. What is this? Like Cyclops or something? What monster is that? Maybe a little bit easier to see on the vape, but do you think maybe it's Cyclops? Perhaps. If you look through these uh, claw marks in there, you can see all of the live resin. This is THCA diamonds, THCA vape. I've tried THCA flower, have not gotten to try a THCA vape yet. Not that I can think of. Oh God, I try a lot. I try a lot of stuff. THC is just the precursor to THC. It's tetrahydrocannabolic acid. Once you apply heat to it in a little scientific process called decarboxylation, it turns into THC and it acts the same way in your body. This is not like a CBD type of a cannabinoid. This is supposedly one of the most potent or more powerful vapes because THCA falls more in line with regular THC as far as potency level goes and all of those other ones, the deltas, even HHC is like 80%, but all of the other ones, the deltas are closer to like around 50% percent as potent and it's naturally derived from the plants not synthetically made so this is exciting it's a hell of a lot of product um in here it's good thing it's USB-C rechargeable so you can get some rapid recharging on here it has a button on the side here to turn it on I really like that I really like that because I'm a parent and if you're a parent and you leave disposable vapes around the kids can like literally just pick it up put it in their mouth and it be activated and it turn on for those types of vapes keep them in your pocket for this you could just turn it off that's nice five clicks Five clicks to turn it on. It also has like, you can just, can you just inhale? No, no hit when you just inhale. I think you have to actually hold it down. It's weird, it like almost pushes. Holy shit. <laughs> it feels like it pushes the hit into your mouth. Wowza. Two clicks and it goes into preheat. The preheat is nice if your vape is clogged because it'll get it all loosened up. But other than that, don't use the preheat because it'll just destroy cannabinoids in your vape. This is Sour Apple Killer. It's a hybrid and it has flavor notes on the side. Apple, citrus, and candy. Let's see if I can get those. Like, Did you see that? It's not pushing it out because when I hold it down, nothing is leaving, but like it's too easy. <laughs> I don't even need to put my mouth on it to get a hit. That's wild. Hold on. I'm a packaging whore and I love how they did this. The inside of the packaging is like a scene for the beast and then the beast like fits into the scene. You can't see the scene anymore, but isn't that like, that was really cool. There's five in the line. Let me do... <gasps> Daryl stole one of them. He even left the little cap in there. You don't even understand. Whenever I do a review, I have to go through everything to make sure that I have everything here the night before. And I have to tell Daryl, you can't touch any of these. Or if you have it, I need it back, which is fine because I want him to test it out. I want him to like, I want to see his reaction. I have a much higher tolerance than him. I want to get his perspective on it. And he uses vapes a whole hell of a lot more than me, but I saw the boxes here and I didn't realize that one of them would be empty. We can't try that one. It's great, babe. It was an Indica anyway, which I didn't super want right now. Grape, berry, and sweet. It's the early afternoon. I want to stay up. Let's try forbidden fruit because it is it is an indica. We'll get one hit out of it. That one's cute. This one's supposed to taste like mango, tropical, and cherry. Did I get that out of the first one? Did I get the flavor notes? I think I got distracted. Let's try this one. Oh my god, you get you get a big hit. You gotta train yourself to take a oh that one's that one is really nice. That one's like almost vanilla creamy. They don't taste like they're purposely flavored. I don't get like any artificial flavor, anything that's been added into it. Premium full spectrum. Oh, I only wanted one hit off of that. You guys gotta remind me. <laughs> I need a babysitter with a vape in my hand. Let me turn that off. Um, the ingredients are premium full spectrum, hemp derived extracts, live resin, and natural terpenes, and nothing else. They have their COAs up on uh, their website. It's a full safety 
panel one too, so that's nice. That's nice that they did that. A lot of small brands can't do that. They're really expensive, and that that kind of sucks, and I feel really bad for the small brands. This might be my favorite vape. This one is called Cereal Milk, and it is a leprechaun. I didn't realize a leprechaun was like a scary beast. I've, I, I thought that a leprechaun was good. No? What's up with Leprechaun. Leprosy in Florida. What are we searching? The legend of the leprechaun is one of the most enduring myths in Ireland and related to a mystical tale of a fairy who is originally linked to the Tuathu de Danan. The leprechaun is the son of an evil spirit and a degenerate fairy. Wow. And is not wholly good nor wholly evil. So, um, just doesn't have great parents. Didn't have a great childhood. Turned out average. So yeah, vanilla butter and sweet. Hmm, that is more Nilla wafer. The hits are hella strong. It's been, what is it? It's been 18 minutes since we started. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I think you could tell that I'm stoned. The last one we are going to try is the Indicloud, no, is the Alaskan Thunderfuck. It's a sativa. I was figuring that I would have the most hits off of this one if I saved it for last, but now I kind of feel like I took too many hits. You know where I was recently and had dessert? Walmart. I have a bunch more grocery stores in between me and the closest Walmart, surprisingly, so I almost never go to Walmart, but I went there, somehow ended up at their bakery counter, which isn't really that much of a surprise, and they had like these cheesecakes and these little, oh my god, they are so damn good. It was like a Dolce de Leche cheesecake. I ate the whole thing. I let Daryl have a bite, and cheesecake's his favorite, but it was like so, no, it was like turtle. I think it was a turtle cheesecake. I'm craving it. I think I'm gonna end up getting one of those today. These are fun, but this is a good high. I'm thinking clearly. I'm having fun. It's clear-headed, but I'm in a really good mood. I still feel like I could be productive, but I also feel like I could just have fun. This is a good vibe. I bet you this would be, sorry, I blew that right in your face. That was so rude. Um, I bet you this would be a good vape to, well, maybe a good vape to smoke trick with. You get a lot of cloud, but you don't get a, like a super dense cloud, which is probably good because then it might be roasting too hot. <laughs> it's kind of good for smoke tricks. It needs to be like a little bit denser for like the impact, but it's there. You could do it. This is a cute little background. This is the, um, I think arguably I would say that this is the scariest of all of the beasts. It has even like the most ominous and kind of scary scenery. <gasps> Remember a few weeks ago, maybe you don't, maybe you're new here. Hi, I am moving. So my office, my my uh, my filming area won't be in my bedroom anymore and I could not be more excited about it. I hired somebody on Fiverr to like design it for me and of course I gave them a bunch of like my needs, my style aesthetic, my wants and I got the files back today and I just, I'm gonna I'm a show you real quick. I'm real excited. <laughs> This is a view of the filming area. I am going to swap out the uh, the stools for a chair, probably like one of those rounded tulip chairs. I like the shape of the chair that I'm in, but I hate the chair. I still have a view out the windows, but then moving kind of like along to the side there, I had this vision of like built-in bookcases and a tabletop. Didn't really know like what it would look like, how to make that happen. And I guess he agreed with it because he ended up giving it to me. And then he threw in some like kind of quirky art. I really like that. And then moving to the scene that would be behind me. I feel like there is something that needs to be done differently here, but I don't like, I don't understand what. I think I want there to be like more artwork, but not for it to be distracting. So like a frame with a whole lot of matting, but then a tiny photo in it. Something that would be interesting, it's not distracting, it's still a lot of blank space, but it's like, it's interesting. Or a neon sign. But I think it needs more on the wall. And then this other corner, it's like a built-in curio cabinet of some sort. I really, it looks a little too large for the space. I don't know how I would change it, but still keep it because I really like it, but I think it needs to be smaller, but it still needs to be built in. Or maybe it's like the color. And maybe the color is like too jarring over there. And maybe that one should be like a different color cabinet. It's been fun sharing this with you and I feel like it's also holding me accountable to getting it done because I've shared it with you. Now I have to get it done. Um, no excuses. No excuses. And I need it. This one tastes like a regular vape pen, like a regular weed vape pen. It's floral, spicy, and sweet. That's why it doesn't have like any kind of like flavor, flavor notes necessarily that you're looking for. And this is the only sativa one in the lineup. 
I'll have to get Daryl's opinion on grape ape because he took that one. Never thought that there would be a six gram vape. It's kind of ridiculous. It, it's not necessary, but it's kind of fun. I wish I could peel like the, uh, you can't. It's not removable, but I wish I could show you like the actual full tank size. This thing is heavy. It feels like it's the entire thing. Okay, one more hit before we say goodbye. A huge shout out to IndiCloud for sending these my way and to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. Thanks for hanging out. Consider subscribing before you leave. I truly appreciate it. Love to have you here and uh, I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.